Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Contest Map Spotlight. I know voting is closed quite a while now, but I want to continue going on with these, um, these spotlights just to show off the maps and give my thoughts on them. Uh, this is Heimenkirch, it is a German made map, and looking at the download page you will require animation map trigger for definite, and if you really want to you can download the Gullimisk mod as well. Um, if you want to put soil mod in this map, you will have to remove Gullimist. Uh This is your pause screen slash loading screen slash description thing. It's Google Translator from German. Um, so it, it makes very, very little sense. Uh, for example, this sentence here. The community has even together a mount scratched the money and asked you to uh, asked you a nine biogas plant for disposal where you can convert energy and supply the surrounding villages with storm chaff and grass to green. Um, I'm sure in German that made sense, not so much in English. You do not start off with a pickup here, this is one that I've bought myself, I've decided on a proper one from now on for whatever reason. Uh, this is the shop and it's got nice it's got a nice little yard to it. As you can see this is my second attempt at recording. I kind of forgot to open up the download page. Um, for whatever reason, there's a random weight here, so that's a thing. Over there is... well, I actually drive over there now. Over here, you have Lakeshore Shopping, which is actually from FS 2011, I believe. It is a very, very... you're floating. Are there, is everybody floating? Have they put the... Uh, I can't tell if... You're floating, but you're jittering quite a lot. I'm guessing that's a giant's bug. You are... I think the nav meshes are slightly off for the people, so they do appear to be floating slightly. Uh, Lakeshore Shopping is an FS2011 default asset. There, ooh. There are coins on the map. There's one over there in front of Lakeshore Shopping. But this is also a sell point. Now, as before... Actually, I might be able to show you... Uh, ah. Here's where animation map trigger comes in. Some of these are missing L10s. Uh, some of the, the animation map trigger stuff. That opens straight through a hedge and into a field. Um, not sure if I like that. Hedges don't have collisions because of the German map. Very little way, like, I, I would guess. You, oh, you got seeds and fertilizer right here. And here you can sell. Hopefully this isn't still bug. Ah. Uh, lakeside, sh Lakeshore Shopping. <laughs> Something went wrong with the mill. Urban the mill. Uh, here you can sell wheat, barley, canola, corn, potatoes, and sugar beet. Which is pretty much, you know, what you'd expect. Uh, <laughs> the mill went horribly wrong, I believe. So over here then. If I go the opposite direction down the road, no, this is the wrong direction entirely. You can sell eggs over there, but looks of it, and there's actually a second egg point in the dwarf, which I'll get to in a moment. So over here we have the. I'm guessing this is the Bahnhof. The Freyjard Bahnhof. Um, it'll probably appear as Freyjard here. It is actually uh, uh, marked on the map as Bahnhof, which is train station. So you can sell wheat, barley, canola, corn, and sugar beet here. And you can, and I'm going to do it, you can send off the train and, and have all of your jolly little fun. Uh, more coins here. Where does the train go? Does it just disappear off the side of them? Oh, please don't, oh my god. Okay, small, and this is small. I personally wouldn't have the train driving through that. I would put one of these guys over there so that it actually looks like it's going somewhere. So let's all go to the lobby and head to the forestry area, which, oh, this fence has collisions. That's not course play friendly. Um, yeah, the German maps, I've kind of come to realize they don't have collisions because everybody in Germany uses course play and everything's course play friendly. So here's a forestry area, so you've got 
trees everywhere. They all have collisions because they're all giant trees, I think. Uh, so, plenty of wood for you to chop down. You can... Ah! Didn't spot this before. You can... Uh, sell your wood over here. Uh, put it straight on the train or just put it into that cell point there and you can sell it. You can send the train off. And this time he has put the tunnel in. Um, who's made this? L oh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name because I butchered some really long name wild. You... Ah! You don't start off owning all the fields and... That is a nice texture. <coughs> um, well, he's also put in the uh, wood mill cell point here so you can sell wood that way. So you've got all your ways to selling wood all in one place, right beside the forestry, which is a bit silly. Uh, here's a planter field that you don't own. I rarely like that. Uh, there's apparently a storage point right here. Ah, that's... Let's see where that is. I'm not even sure where that's after coming from. Possibly Westbridge Hills. Uh, let's have a look at the field prices. Field 3 is relatively small. It's actually very small, so let's have a look. 83,700. Um, no. The field prices are apparently insane. There's another cell point over here, apparently. So let's go over a look. So over here, we have... What cell point is this? Oh, it's the mill! <laughs> the the uh, mill with the really, really ridiculously bugged out name where you can sell wheat, barley, canola, corn. Good. Um, I think that might be an easy enough fix in, the X in an XML file. I don't know which one, but I think it might be an easy fix to just change it to mill. Um, Let's continue on and have a look over here at the cows. Uh, let's have a look at what's going on over here. If I can get out of this fence. There we go. So you got nice big, actually that's really big and modern. That's really nice looking. Nice big area with the cows in there. Nice uh, shed, I guess. All these sheds here have animation map trigger installed, so you will need that for the map to function uh, to get your vehicles out. Uh, I'm guessing that's then the corn texture. Is that fully grown? Field 16. Let's have a look at this field 16, see if this is the fully grown corn texture 16. Yes. I like that. I like that a lot. That is... Because there are a few cornfields um, near me, and there have been in the past anyway. Don't know if there are this year. Uh, that's pretty much what grown corn looks like. Uh, definitely for... Well, definitely for um, BGA use, anyway. For uh, chaffing it up. So, that's... Yeah, I like that. I like that texture a lot. So... If we find our way out of here... Apparently the chickens are also over here, because I just heard a cockerel going mental. Uh, you got more fertilizer, what could be fuel? What's over here? It says something on it. H2O tank, okay, so that's fertilizer, possibly fuel or water or something. Uh, does this map have water, Matt? It should say in the animals. No. Uh, it doesn't look like this map has water, Matt, so here's the slurry tank. Or should be. It doesn't seem to have working triggers for whatever reason. Oh, there we go. The Where's the trigger for this thing? Okay. Yeah, that's... No. Um, the trigger for the slurry tank should always be right at the end of the holes here. That's horrible. There's apparently a small trigger... Oh, it's a gold coin. That's probably what the small trigger there was. Uh, that's all one giant fertilizer trigger. Okay. And let's hop back into the pickup again. And continue on our little map tour. 
I really don't like that slurry trigger. That's a confusingly positioned one. Again, some forestry area. And it looks like we're heading to the BGA, which... Biogas on... Anaga? There's a missing L in this. It should be Biogas on Lager. Um, not Biogas on Aga. Uh, Schneider, specialist for energy and... <coughs> See, there's the L and uh, BGA technology. Uh, I know the yeah, that's the thing. Oh, that I must have hit that sign. So let's have a look around the BGA and um, is that slurry trigger the same? Actually, yes, it's out in the middle of the road. I really don't like that. It looks like it's a single clamp, maybe a double clamp. But these are massive. Oh, triple. So you got one freaking huge pit right here. Um, judging by the uh, proximity to the actual digesters, that's your main pit. And then you got two smaller ones over here, which you can kind of use as overflow. Um, I kind of like the design of this. Again, seeds and fertilizer in here, which is brilliant if you're using the fields around it uh, for the corn. Which, let's be fair, you probably will with a biogas plant this big. Uh, I'll get to vehicles in a while and tap around and look at them. Uh, I think they're all parked up in the, the main farm anyway, so let's continue on. So that's the BGA. Where am I off to next? Completely missed the biomass plant, so I'll get back to that. Let's head to the Berg Park. And actually, no, the Baywa, because that's slightly closer to where I am right now. German maps, so drive on the right. And uh, I have been told that my driving in Farm Sim is absolutely atrocious, which I know. <laughs> that was set up on my. Uh, I said, of course, the videos, which thank you, I guess. Does this tr That's a Farm Sim 15 tree. So, this is the Bewa, whatever that means. And this takes. If I go over here. Bewa, 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 Bewa. Bewa, wheat, barley, canola, and corn. Would help if I had my hand on the right buttons. So let's continue on up to the bird work and let's see if we can shortcut it because that's quite a long drive. Let's shortcut now. Go across country here just to save time. So the garden centre is right there. Just double check that there's no cell points in here. Apparently not, because it doesn't exist. Uh, so the sheep are there. Garden centre is uh, not actually there, because that's in the middle of a field. So here's the burg work over here. Of, yeah, the signs you can hit, apparently. This is a quarry. What on earth can you sell down here? I mean, really, this doesn't make sense as a crop sell point at all. I get that you can probably buy lime here for um, GMK, but... <sighs> you can sell down near everything here, okay. Don't like that, don't... I just don't like having quarries on farming maps. Yes, the models are cool, yes, the particle systems are cool, yes. A lot of the stuff here will have collisions and is very well modelled. But I don't like, just a personal thing, I don't like having quarries and stuff on farming maps. There's a pool here for some reason, okay. I don't know why there's a boat in it. You can swim in that if you want, but I wouldn't. Um, really, really don't like having quarries on maps. 
And that's just personal preference. If you like it, well, good for you. Uh, the entrance is nice. It's a nice, tough entrance to get down, especially if you've got a full, you know, truck and trailer going. So, let's head to the biomass heating plant now, because that's the only place I haven't been yet. Let's have a look at it. Also, the OEB guys are on this map, and they absolutely loved this statue of a bull, which is really, really nice. Um, that's a really nice model, some nice smooth shading on it. And I think there's a normal map or something on because it does, there are no really hard edges. So, let's continue on and head to the B, the biomass plant. Or the wood chip cell point, whichever one you want to call it. So I think from now on we can use the roads again. Once we're finished drifting. Come on, stop drifting. Stop drifting. Okay, so to stop drifting, you just have to let it go through the drift. Not try and counter steer or anything. Or you can do that, I guess. All these signs can be knocked down, and I have a hood ornament. Uh, two hood ornaments, apparently. So the biomass plant is this way? Yes. And we'll get to the main yard and stuff in a minute. There's there's the garden centre. Uh, the PDA map is slightly off in that respect. Uh, in general, it does seem to be on point, which is always nice. Let's try and... No, we can't get in that way. If I beached, I've beached it. So let's uh, head in this way. Ah! So you can walk through this, but you can't drive through it because the collisions are too big for a vehicle. This is the biomass plant. Uh... Possibly wood chip storage as well. I had to guess. So how do you... How does this thing work? I'm guessing this is the cell point. Is that not... That is the cell... Oh... That's different. So... What you have to do is you have to cart your wood chips up here pretty much if you want to sell them bulk anyway, you have to cart your wood chips up here which I'm guessing isn't the wood chip storage um, if it is really kinda of good positioning for it but then you gotta get um, a front loader of any description, wheel loader, tail handle or whatever and you gotta cart it all over here bucket by bucket by bucket and dump it in here you can't really use... well you, you, you can if you're really on point with your reversing. You can use a trailer. Um, but realistically this cell point is made for front loaders, which is different. It is very different and I like it. Especially seeing as in reality you will be using a front loader, a biomass heating plant. So let's... There's the... Uh, yeah, these sheds are missing the, uh, the L10s for the roll door, which is a bit of a shame. But I think that's a problem with the uh, imported models. So, in here we have at least some of the equipment that you get on this map. You get the... Well, just... This is actually the main yard, so I can open the door here. And these doors are really awkward, because if you want to open this door, it's actually going to block off... This door. <sighs> So you end up with this awkwardness. Um, again, that's an issue with the, the model in the map. So this is... Really tiny sugar beets, I think. So that's a wood... That's a yeah, what they've done is they've imported the sugar beet and potato... Um, textures for the... the, 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 the things... And they've shrunk it down, but the texture has been shrunk as well. Um, which makes it look a bit silly. There's also no wood chip storage, so I'm guessing up at the biomass plant is in fact the wood chip storage. So over here, and I know I'm walking around, is your tipping point for all of your grains. Which are stored, I would think, in here. Yes! You also get a little Brantner. And the corn always looks awkward at the end there. Yeah, we 
barley and canola and they all have really big areas and then the corn's just like I'm corn, I'm sat in a corner and I'm huge. But the canola texture is about right for the size of canola, the barley texture is about right for the size of barley and the wheat texture is about the right size for some wheat. Then you go over and you see the corn is like I'm corn and I'm huge. Eat me, all you need is like three kernels and you've got a full meal. Mind you, I would like popcorn that size. Sorry if there's background noise. My mother's just come in and I think she's on the phone. Because, why not? Um, there's some nice details, de details? details on the map, but... There are quite a few things I don't like, such as the slurry. Um, triggers being slightly off. Now that's something you can fix in Giant Cedar fairly easily. And Ooh! Get a stire. So let's have a look at your... Well, let's start off with the starting fields, because they're viable fields. You start off the fields 38, which isn't planted, uh, 24, which is, and 29, which is almost ready to harvest. And that's it. Wow, you have to start off in the middle of a cycle. That's tough. 24 actually apparently has a corner that's been planted. Uh, that's actually kind of tough as a start. And in terms of vehicles and stuff, you get a Harleyman H488, an Agrostar, a Steyr, a New Holland TC5, a Panamera X5 if you want for, um, I'm guessing that the intention is that you do use the BGA, and you do, uh, yeah, you do use the BGA, that's clearly the intention here. So you get the X5, uh, you don't get a front loader of any kind, so you can make a ton of silage and, well, you'll make at least a ton. A few hundred tons, more likely, and you can't do anything with it. So you'll need to, you know, sell crops to get the front loader. And, and uh, well, you you have a tractor that can handle it. You just need to buy a front loader and shovel, and then you can use the BJ and make all of the money ever because that's the way giants want the BJ to work. Apparently, you get the header for New Holland, a Brantner, a TMK two sixty six bull, a Vogel new terror disc, which I don't think you actually have a tractor powerful enough to pull it. No, you don't. Good. Well done, map maker. You've given the player a piece of equipment they just can't use. Kuhn very master plow the obligatory Vitasem as always. Amazon ZAM fifteen oh one fertilizer spinner. Uh, three one one ton weights, which is about unusual, and the pickup I bought myself, so that doesn't count. So yeah, this is Hyman Kirsch. It's I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, I believe I am. It's a decent map, but, again, it's just, I'm not going to say low quality, but it seems a bit rushed in places. It is very detailed, it is very, very, very well put together, however, some of the sell points, especially the quarry, just don't make sense. The missing L10s on the roll doors here should have been fixed, even by the mod maker himself, or the, the, the map maker. That would be a relatively easy fix. Hasn't been done. Corner cutting again. Um, the slurry triggers are horrifically out of place. There's absolutely no excuse for that. Uh, it does have traffic, which is unusual enough. I really, really like some of the textures, like this corn texture is beautiful. It is just... This is fully grown corn, ready to be harvested, and you can run through it and frolic and jump up and down like a dog or something. I don't know. Um, but it is about the right height as well, because corn is freaking massive. Uh, especially if this guy, like, si six foot four, maybe. Corn usually gets to about seven feet tall. Seven, maybe eight feet. Uh, so that's that's about right in terms of height and stuff. Um, it's a good map. It's I don't know. The fields are really nice. There are uh, quite a few square ones and squarish ones and ones resembling squares, which I just don't like. Uh, square fields are a bit of a cop out. There are a couple of unnumbered fields, which means the map maker cut a couple of corners as one by field 11. 
I can see straight away uh, one down the bottom left near field 44. Let's have a look for any others. Up by fields 30 and 36 in kind of the center left. Uh, I don't think I can see any others. But those are numbered fields. Why are they unnumbered? Are they just too strange of a shape to put into Giants Editor? Which is a possibility because Giants in their infinite wisdom think all fields should be square always and forever which no there's a reason people don't play your maps giants and it's mainly down to your fields Bjornholm and Westbridge Hills are two very good maps but the fields ruin them uh... Oh, this must be one of the canola textures that's nice that's a corn texture that's probably a wheat texture if I had to guess um... yeah that's wheat and over here is some more corn. There's a lot of corn on this map. This is a biogas heavy plat uh, map by the looks of it. It's really nice, but I don't. I just don't like it. It doesn't. I don't know. There's loads. Well, there's not loads of good maps, but there are a few really good maps for FS15. This is one of them, but I don't like it. And it all comes down to personal preference of me. I don't like. You know, this works. The closed door has the L10s in place. Open door apparently does now. What on earth? There was a missing L10. Floating coin! Um. Do you know, I think the biggest gripe for me of this map is you don't start with a planted field. Which... Yes, I get it. It's unusual to be saying that, but starting off with essentially silage equipment, because you know you are going to go out with a stair with Max Five on the front, probably the uh, Deutz hauling the Flegel, the Hurleyman hauling the Brantner, and you're going to go out and make a ton of silage and be able to do nothing with it because you can't. And then you're going to go out and let's have a look at how many fields are actually... Yeah, you got a ton of crop fields then that you can harvest. And because there's nothing stopping you from harvesting them, you just can't do anything after that. You'll harvest them with, you know, the New Holland, the Flegel and the Brantner. And course play as well. And then you'll just be like, okay, well, I'll sell a few Flegelfuls. Get the Brantner just dumping it into the... You know, dumping into the uh, the storage point. Once you get a few trailer fulls, you got pretty much everything you need on this map, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I really, really, really just. I think one of the highlights of this map is the biomass plant, which I can tab over there again because I got the uh, pickup stuck. I really like the tipping point here. Oops. And the fact that the wood chip storage is actually here. Which means that if you're doing wood chipping, you can... Can you wood chip these trees? Yes, you can. You can chip... I'll double check, actually. Chainsaw, please. Thank you. Yeah, these are all FS15 trees, so you can... Yeah, you can pretty much wood chip all these trees around here. Just dump the chips in there. Um, how much is the wood chipper? Uh, it's in forestry equipment, isn't it? It is 88,000. So that's quite oh, that's quite a bit of money. Uh, I don't have any chippers in here, do I? No. It's quite a bit of money, but realistically you're going to make lots more from chipping and chipping everything on the map. Just get the beast chip or something. And you'll be done. So I'm going to leave here. Thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, until next time, when I'll be. I'll have a different map, for one. Uh, stay safe, and goodbye.